as a result of your review of those um, photographs uh, within the protocol and Dr. Tormos's report, uh, did you reach a conclusion on whether it's likely or not that there was uh, those injuries to uh, Mr. Scott were sustained uh, before his death, perhaps in an altercation? Yes. And what was that, uh, uh, what caused you to conclude that? The injuries at, that we see at autopsy have a little bit of drying change to them. Those at the scene um, and even, you know, Dr. Tormos's uh, uh, description is that there is, again, vital reaction. There's redness, there's hemorrhaging, there's bleeding. These are not dried, uh, tan parchment-like paper changes that would have happened after death. They've not had time to actually undergo healing changes. They're not scabbing over. So these are recent, um, appear to be relatively all in the same time frame in terms of the changes that are present to them. And we would be absolutely consistent with having occurred sometime shortly before death, uh, certainly not after death, and uh, could clearly uh, be signs that there was a, some uh, disturbance in all of those different areas to the skin be consistent with some type of a struggle. And did you see uh, uh, Mr. Schneck's presentation uh, earlier this morning on the uh, yellow brick road and paint samples obtained and all that sort of stuff? Yes. Would the abrasions and cuts and contusions on Mr. Scott be consistent with uh, uh, those that might be caused by this, such a surface as asphalt like that? Yes, asphalt is a, a rough surface that would cause scraping or rubbing uh, of the skin and produce the abrasions.